Hey banditos, this is a legendary skill build for people who hate to die. And surprise, it doesn't include the Memento Exotic Backpack. This is Slaughter 4.0. If you're not familiar with this build series, Slaughter builds are rated for legendary and aim to bring damage and survivability perfectly in balance. Hit like if unique and effective builds are for you and comment Slaughter down below to support the channel. I'm so happy to be bringing you our fourth edition of the Slaughter build series. So you know, I have a playlist on my YouTube channel dedicated to the best of hybrid skill builds. You can find the other three Slaughter builds there and more. These are mainly tailored for legendary content, but surely work for heroic as well. We all know by now, it's not hard to make a strong skill build. These have been around as long as the game, but because these builds have no added survivability like armor regen and such, it only takes a bullet or two to suppress the user and force an armor kit. And because because of this endless cycle, it's not a rare thing for skill build players to just let their skills do all the work. I don't know about you, but I want in on the action. And that's why I am on this never ending quest to find the perfect hybrid. And I must disclose, we have some prospects for sure. The original Slaughter, the Game Over, the Hitman, and the Perfect Blend are four hybrids perfect in their own right. And each brings a unique value. And this new Slaughter 4.0 surely does too. The original Slaughter uses the Memento backpack and therefore was tailored for a trophy to trophy playstyle to boost damage and survivability. That's because any build that can play into the Memento's short term buffs rocks. For many different reasons, including playstyle, some players aren't able to take advantage of the Memento's short term buffs. So instead of crazy regen and bonus armor like the original, Slaughter 4.0 redistributes the power and survivability for a more cover to cover playstyle. As you can see, it's built around the all new Ninja Bike Backpack delivered in Season 11. There are some bugs on this backpack with fixes in the works, so I will provide a quick note in the description area on how to do the workaround in the meantime. The Ninja Bike Exotic has three core attributes, weapon damage, armor, and a skill tier. I have a protection from Elite's mod. Resourceful slots in with any equipped gear set and or brand set to item to fulfill a requirement towards unlocking a gear set bonus. Can unlock bonuses from multiple sets simultaneously. And that allowed us to redistribute the power and survivability nicely to bring this build into balance. Let's start with the chest piece. So we got Bellstone for 1% armor regen and 10% armor on kill. That's our only source of armor regen and it sort of just comes with the Bellstone. I have armor, skill damage, skill haste, and protection from elites. If I could, I'd actually put a weapon damage core there instead of an armor core. Glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 25%. All damage you take is amplified by 50%. This glass cannon has always been a key element of all the slaughter builds and that's because it helps bring everything in balance this build has fast time to kill and fast time to heal so do not be afraid with glass cannon as a matter of fact glass cannon works great with skill builds that's because there's an unofficial perk from skills that i call cloaking capability the skills make you invisible to the enemies now you're not truly invisible the reality is when they're shooting at your skills they're not shooting at you and sometimes the enemy will walk right by you as if you're you're invisible because you're so busy being focused on your skills. So that makes you not so glassy, so to speak. Your skills allow you to be out of cover shooting more. So we take advantage of that and make sure we have great burst damage with glass cannon. And so this build kills fast, heals fast. And that's why we want glass cannon because it doesn't only work with your primary weapon. It works with your skills too. And that makes it stand apart from kinetic momentum. And spotter only works at enemies you're highlighting, pulsing, or pointing at. Uzina Getica for 5% total armor, 10% armor on kill. I got a skill tier, skill damage, and armor regen. These are really easy to get. I get all sorts of these. You only need skill damage to show up, and then you can roll that core attribute to a skill tier. Skill haste on this would be even better, but I have armor regen, so that's what I'm rolling with. This pushes us to 20% armor on kill. That's absolutely amazing and all you need. And remember, it's not just your primary weapon that earns you that armor on kill. Your skills do too. So when you're suppressed because your armor breaks or whatever, your skills are out there still fighting and getting your your armor back for you as well as killing for you and that gets you back into the game if you're looking to be part of a strong positive community then i have you covered join texas discord we're not elitists and we're so much more than just clans and
and raids. Texas Discord continues to grow as the central hub for the player base that loves this game and wants to see it thrive. And if you love builds, this is the spot. Also, join Texas Players Club to support the channel, the cause, while getting access to member perks and extra content like gaming music playlists. Click the join button below. Picara's holster, of course, it pairs up nicely with the ninja bike backpack. As a matter of fact, it's a ninja bike holster. So this gives us a skill haste and a skill tier. We got more skill tiers. So this one piece is giving us two skill tiers. I have skill damage and weapon damage. That's very unique, 15% weapon damage. So if you look on the surface, it looks like you only have two red cores, but the reality is because of this holster, you have three. So we have three red cores, two blue cores and six skill tiers. And like I said, because we're playing from cover, you don't really need a lot of armor. A lot of people are very comfortable with 1.1 million armor, but I wouldn't be opposed to dropping this armor core for a red weapon damage core something to think about or at least try you might like it okay the knee pads is walker we're getting five percent weapon damage and five percent damage to armor i got a red core skill haste and skill damage so damage to armor is great that's a multiplicative damage and helping our primary weapon feel fantastic and this is the kicker we are using the hollow man mask on the slaughter build absolutely amazing so the hollow man mask is a y'all gear brand piece and the y'all gear brand is exclusive to the dark zone so you either gotta go in there and farm for this or get it from a dz vendor or named item caches so named item caches you can get from multiple places one by going into countdown and getting countdown credits and then going to the countdown vendor by named item caches or when global events come around you can farm for those red stars and go to the season vendor and buy named item caches that way keep your fingers crossed for the hollow man mask these are pretty common to drop from named item caches so y'all gear gives us 10 percent hazard protection which is awesome that allows us to play close up to those chungas who are throwing stingers at us and causing us to bleed also we're getting five percent weapon damage perfect a stronger primary weapon i put a skill tier on this one it's got skill damage i put protection from elites on it and it has health damage and that's why we're running it 10 percent health damage is absolutely amazing for legendary content as a matter of fact i think it's more useful for legendary than it is heroic and that's because legendary has more health damage type targets including robotics tanks chungas and even those damn explosive drones headed your way health damage is a multiplicative damage so you're stronger against all those targets of course i'm running technician so that i can have the extra skill tier but i'm also getting 12 percent more damage to drones skill proxies and robotics so if you think about it with that 10 percent health damage you're 22 percent stronger against tanks and those drones and those warhounds and of course technician gives us another 10 percent skill damage keep that in mind of course we're running the capacitor it's an amazing weapon we got crit chance crit damage weapon handling and a larger mag 133 base weapon damage 700 rpm 41 size mag i'm expertise 17 we got assault rifle damage damage to armor and health damage so that's what's unique this has twice as much armor and half as much health damage as all other assault rifles and so that hollow man mask replenishes the missing health damage so now we got 12 percent damage to armor and 20% health damage. And if you look at our stats, we're at 70% total armor damage and 20% total health damage. And the capacitance talent powers up the assault rifle for every skill tier we have by 7.5%. And we're pushing our skills up by 60% more damage. Speaking of skills, this is our turret. It's got 109,000 base damage. Remember, that's before the capacitance and before that amazing glass cannon. And then here is our drone, and that's at about 68,000. Of course, the capacitance and glass cannon will push that up. My secondary weapon is the mechanical animal. I'm never really using it, but the idea is with this one is every 90 seconds, just get at least one kill with it, and you're going to proc over charge switch back to your capacitance when you're done so check out the gameplay what i want you to pay attention to is again my armor when it drops look how fast it comes back or look how it's always maxed out really really nice to have this kind of armor and i'm solo legendary so i'm taking all the aggro here you're really gonna like this build also pay attention to how fast we're shredding those tanks and chungas especially when those chungas come at us and i have the, both skills on my primary focusing on them they just melt it feels great whether you're playing solo or in group this is a great build it's got every Everything you need. This is a five directive sniper build for people who hate sniper builds. Try it next. Follow me.